Hi, today we're going to be making a kind of uh, fried sauce uh, noodles. Uh, so we're going to be making uh, the noodles and then frying the sauce and then putting it together to serve and hopefully it'll turn out good. So let's get started. So for this, you'll be needing a pot to boil your noodles. So first of all, you want to fill your pot with water to about enough to uh, cook your noodles with. So I'm going to fill about, about there. Next, you will want some kind of a saucepan to cook your sauce in. You will also need uh, some kind of hot pepper, like jalapeno or whatever this thing is. You will also need some uh, green onions. Uh, two or three stalks is fine. And also probably one uh, bulb of, whatever you call it, of onion and probably two eggs. You will also need some of this bean paste sauce, which is uh, this kind of stuff. I don't know what's, what it's called in English, but um, you could probably find it in the Asian grocery part of the whatever supermarket you want to go to. But yeah. And lastly, well actually not lastly, yeah, you also need some uh, ground beef or ground pork. Rather. Yeah, it's ground pork. We can use beef if you want, but I don't use pork because I only have pork. And lastly, you want some uh, olive oil. You don't need this much. You can just have like a, like a dab or like a teaspoon or something. But have some olive oil or whatever oil you want to use. But I like olive oil, so I'm gonna use olive oil. Uh, oh wait, never mind. Um, yeah, there's still one more thing you need. You need some noodles. So you could get like this kind of sin noodle, oriental dried sin noodle, or you can get like spaghetti or whatever kind of noodle you want to eat, but I'm gonna have this because this tastes good. So first off, you want to bring your pot, put your pot on the range, uh, set it to like a medium boil, like six, five, six, obviously six, but uh, you want to put it on here, keep it uh, on the fire or whatever uh, heating element you use, and put the lid on to contain the heat. So now that you've got the water boiling, you want to just wash up your vegetables. So let's get this pepper wash up. Just remove the whatever stuff you don't need. Alright. And also the uh, green onions. Rip off parts that aren't good. And you probably can just rip off the bottom too. Just give it a good rinse. And you can rinse your onion if you want, you don't really have to because you're gonna peel it. So now that you have your vegetables all cut up, all, all washed up, uh, let's start cutting it. Uh, we'll start with the onion. You wanna take your knife or whatever stuff you use to cut your vegetables. Uh, just try to cut on the bottom, top. Oops. Alright, there we go. And then you would want to just like start peeling it. Get every part of the skin off so that you don't end up with a bunch of onion skin in your uh, sauce. Oops. Oh, wait, crap. Okay, now that we got it all peeled, we can start cutting. Uh, how I like to cut it is just go at it. Like, uh, yeah. Like that, and then we'll start cutting it. Now that you got it up, 
chopped up into a good mush. Uh, I didn't really do that good of a job, but just like put it aside or move it a little bit until you have room to cut your other stuff on your cutting board. Alright, uh, let's start cutting this pepper. Right, a really hot pepper, so I have to be careful not to touch my eyes. Now that we got this pepper all chopped up, we just move it to the side. Actually, we didn't really do that. Well, actually, yeah, we did. Because so we're going to cut these uh, onions up. Alright, so now that you have your uh, green onions all cut up, you can take like a saucepan and just put it into the saucepan to leave it for later. So now that we got all the vegetables cut up, we can start cooking the sauce. Okay, so here we have the saucepan. And uh, we're just gonna light it to like... Actually, I'm just gonna have it on high for now. And what you wanna do is take your oil. Uh, here I got the olive oil. And just dump like a layer of it into there. Yeah, that's good enough. And then uh, you wanna take your bean paste, your bean, uh, soybean sauce thing. And just get a good scoop out of it. Actually, I can just use the stash one and then use for the sauce. So, I'm gonna just put a bit of it into it. Well, that's a little too much. But, oh well. Mix it with the oil so, so it won't stick to the bottom. Or oh, actually, it doesn't mix that well. But, anyways, uh, leave that to cook for a while uh, on that high temperature so that oil gets hot. So, you just wanna like. While it's cooking, just stir a little bit so it doesn't make sure it doesn't like burn or char or stick to the bottom until the oil is hot. Okay, now that the oil is hot, you can see from the bubbling, or maybe you can't see, but um, yeah, it's bubbling. So now that it's hot, we're gonna turn it down to like five or six and a medium heat, and now we're gonna our ground pork, pork not beef, and uh, we're just gonna put a little bit into it, like about that much. Whoops, I got some salt. Oh well. Alright, so now we just want to ground that ground beef, ground pork up into the sauce. Just start mushing it into the sauce. Now that it's start bubbling, you can just turn it down to like four or even three. And put your spatula aside, take the cutting board with your vegetables that you had. And now we're just gonna add those vegetables in. The onions and the peppers. Not the green uh, not the green onions though. Alright. Now that we have these uh, vegetables in, we can start just Turn it up again, and uh, turn it up to like seven or eight. And we're gonna start uh, just mushing around, or what do you call it, stirring around, stir frying. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna add some water to this because it's getting a little bit dry. I'm gonna add a little water. Oh, that might be too much, but it's fine for now. Add this water. Uh, yeah, it's a little too much, but. Add a little less when you're doing it. And now we can just add our eggs in. Okay, so now that we got all our needed ingredients put in, uh, let's turn it up to high and we're gonna start stirring. You know 
know what? I'm gonna just add a little bit of spice, a little bit of Chinese spice to it. That'll make it uh, taste a little better. You can add whatever you want. Uh, but this is called Five Spice Powder. Just to make it a tad bit more tasty. Just add that. Oh, okay. It's a little too much, but oh well. Um, yep, that's pretty much all I'm gonna add. And we'll just stop stirring it. Okay, so now that the sauce is cooking and it smells really good right now, we're gonna take care of the boiling water over here. Uh, I actually said to simmer because I was taking a long time filming other stuff, but I'm gonna turn it back on to like five and let's go get the noodles. Alright, so now that I got my uh, batches of noodles here, I'll put uh, as many batches as I want to eat. I'll probably eat like three batches, so put one batch. So, we'll just let that cook by itself. Alright, you can take your uh, chopsticks or whatever you want to eat your noodles with and just stir your noodles around so it goes all the way into the water. And you can add a little bit of salt to have it cook a little faster if you want. So I'm just going to dab a little salt in it. And then uh, stir it a little bit more. And I'm just going to put the lid back on for it to keep the heat and boil. Okay, let's go back to the sauce. It looks pretty good. It's uh, congealing or what do you call hardening or drying. The water's going off pretty fast. So we'll just um, stir a little bit more. And what we can actually do is just turn off the, turn off the heat. And uh, we'll just let it sit there for a while with the remaining heat cooking a little bit more. Okay, so now that you have everything set and boiling, your noodles here and your sauce here, you can uh, just wait around a while until they fully cook, like the noodles gonna take a while. And then, uh, actually I'm gonna turn the noodles up to high to cook. And uh, so, get like, yeah, get a bowl to eat the noodles with, once you're done cooking. Just because you don't have much else to do. But I don't. Okay, so now that you've got your noodles boiling, you want to just like stir it a little bit more so it fully cooks. Oh, uh, I think that's about good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you can just turn the heat off and just let it sit there without the um, cover on for a while so that just, uh, things, just let it cool by itself for a second. Steam. Okay, so now that it's cooled off quite a bit by itself, you can just take it over to your sink. All right, now that you have it on your sink, just put it there and then uh, run some cold water through it. Just cool it off. This will cool the noodle off and uh, also prevent it from sticking to the other. Wash it with like cold, cold water. And then you just want to dump off the uh, excess water. So leave uh, just the noodle by itself. So it's easier to like, grab out and put it into a cold one. You might want to take some, uh, take some chopsticks to hold the noodles so they don't fall out with the water. So here we have the noodles, the sauce, and the bowling right here. Oh, and also, we also have the uh, green onions. So what you want to do is take your noodles, take like a chopstick full. That's all two less. Take a little bit more. Alright, uh, and then what you want to do is take your Take your sauce spatula and just get some of this sauce out. And just put it onto your noodles. 
and then take the green onions and put it onto the sauce a little bit. And what the green onions does is not just decoration, it gives the entire uh, bowl a little bit of a kick. Okay, so now I'm finally able to ready, ready to eat my noodles. So here you got the noodles, and what you want to do is just stir it up a little so that you got everything mixed all well together. Alright, does that look good? Yeah. So let's try this thing. Mmm. Good. Good stuff. That's good. Try it for yourselves. Oh, camera's over here. Yeah, go home, make this. Y'all like it. Mm -hmm.